he is killing us. I'm talking about us women. He's killing us. He is putting us at risk. He is making us afraid to have babies. What is she talking about? We got to talk about this. Good day, everyone. Welcome to the channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that if you are enjoying my content that you are following me on all the platforms you see above and below, and also clicking this thumbs up button right here. I would really appreciate it if you would do that. That way the content can consistently be recommended to you. Hitting this uh, subscribe button right here, you might want to do it because it's a good chance that if you think you are subscribed, you may not be, okay? Appreciate it. Okay, guys, so we have to talk about this because this woman completely came on here and it's like, y'all know how stuff just makes you so mad. You just like, Ugh! well, these are one of these moments right here because now, ladies and gentlemen, the last card that a lot of them are pulling out right now is fear, complete, utter fear. They want you to be scared of Trump because Trump is going to have us all locked up. He's going to take color people and put them in paddy wagons. He's going to take them and put them in encampments and everything. He's going to be like Hitler. He's a fascist. He's like Adolf Hitler. He's going to make this nation great for all white people and white people all on here being uh, there. White people know what's best. Black people, y'all better watch out because the white people know, you know, he he's going to be a white supremacist and they don't want that to happen to us lowly black people and us brown folk, you know, so y'all better wake up and old women. Trump is getting ready to come after y'all, too. He's going to he's going to be t killing our babies. Oh, y'all don't believe me. Watch this complete ridiculous ridiculous virtue signaling fake meltdown that this woman is going to have um as important as trump's fascism is and is the lead story every day his cozying up to uh dictators his uh, obsession with hitler that has now come out what he has said about our veterans and what he wants to do with the military against his political adversaries it's all huge news. This is the future that we're looking at in the next Trump term, if there is one. But this is what voters know right now, that he is killing us. I'm talking about us women. He's killing us. He is putting us at risk. He is making us afraid to have babies. He is putting our reproductive health at risk. And some women have died already because of this. So we can see right now what's coming. These headlines and very good reporting, by the way, that shouldn't be questioned by idiots about what Trump has said about Hitler. That's incredibly important to know. But I do understand that people who are busy and that are people who are just tapping in may not be able to comprehend because we've been free. We've been comfortable. We cannot comprehend that. And it, I understand that. I validate that it is hard to go from here to there. It is where we're going. I hope we don't find out the hard way. But what's happening with women right now is real and it is playing out across America. See what I'm talking about? What was that? Now, can Trump go after her? Can Trump go after her for making a statement saying that Trump is killing women? Woo! I hope Trump get a hold of this because that would be something I would just kind of think that might be, that might draw his interest. This woman literally said Trump is killing women. Do you people even understand? If you even try to understand I would love for any of you to go into the comment section of this video right now and explain to me how Trump is killing women. Explain to me where has Trump ever prevented any of you from going and deleting your children inside your stomach, inside your wound, inside the uterus. Show me where Trump literally has it in law. Show me where he actually did anything like that to prevent you from going and getting rid of your child. Show me. You won't be able to. You guys don't even understand that when Trump put in place 
and then the Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, that that put the power back to the states, which in part put the power back to you. We the people. What are y'all talking about? So when she tries to... <laughs> And I'm telling you guys, if, if, if we don't get this together, we're not here. We're already there, guys. I mean, there we were. We were we were on our way there, but now we are here. And the only difference is, is that here doesn't contain the letter T that would make it there, guys. I'm just shut up. Nobody falling for your fake tears. Nope, don't want to hear that. So go cry some tears in your tear bag. That is absolutely ridiculous to make such a statement like that. And then to try to cry because you think that that's going to, no, I don't know. Not that she thinks. She knows that doing that little, uh, 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 it's going to pull at a lot of you easily manipulated, non-intelligent women. And I'm not saying that to be condescending, but there are a lot of you out there that can easily fall for this. We should have just had her crying like that and had some music playing with it. Maybe that would have helped out a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? That's absolutely ridiculous. But it's people like me that will sit back. Nobody's falling for this. Ladies and gentlemen, believe me when I tell you, the only thing they have to go off of right now is to instill fear in you. If they can instill fear like they did during the pandemic, they can control you. Yes, if you have a person fearful, you can control them. You don't believe me? Just think about way back in the day when there was a such thing as, uh, you know, the old school bullies. Give me your lunch money or you're going to get pounded at three o'clock. The kid shows up. He's scared to death. He's giving him the lunch money or he might even give him his lunch because he's scared. Why? Because he believed the bully. Y'all get what I'm saying? You became fearful and you got controlled out of fear. The kid was scared that he may get beat up. So he's going to give the bully his money or his lunch money. And the bully just made threats. This may not be in a threatening manner like that, but it still has the same ending result of instilling fear in you because that can control you. Trump going to keep us from having kids? How is he going to keep you from having How is he going to keep you from having babies? If you really pay attention to what Trump talks about, he actually encourages children to be born. He encourages women to have children. J.D. Vance encouraged women to have children. So I'm confused now. Do you, do you want to have the kids or you don't? Trump is not going to let us have kids. Trump won't let us get rid of our kids. Trump, Trump won't let me have children. Trump won't let me get rid of my children. What, which way y'all want it? Trump won't allow me to have an abortion. Trump won't let me keep my kids. Trump won't let me have an abortion. Trump won't let me stay pregnant. What? I'm telling y'all, this is the lunacy that we're dealing with right now. But again, to summarize this, it's about fear and controlling you, plain and simple. Is this arguable? Yeah, you think so? Let me see it in the comment section then. Show me in your section where, com where uh, I'm sorry, where Donald Trump is trying to prevent you from having children. Show me. Don't forget to do what you guys see what's going on in this cloud right here. That way this can help the channel out. I would greatly appreciate that. If you would like to see the next video that I would do in chronological order, most likely it's going to be the one up there. Things that I do as a variety on this channel will be right here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.